Hi guys and welcome back. Today we're going to do a spring replacement in an Acer Chromebook C720. As you can see, pretty substantial crack. Uh, pretty simple to change the screen though. So, we're just going to try and get the bezel off. There's nothing on the outside of the bezel. There's no screws or anything. They're all clipped in. So if we can get one corner loose and work from there. You can see here I'm starting from the inside so as not to put any marks or dents on the bezel on the outside. Once you get one corner up, it's pretty easy just to move all the way around the edges. Just take your time. The most difficult part of this repair, believe it or not, is just getting this um, plastic bezel off. The hinges are particularly um, tight in there to get that, to get the hinge to lift up. There's another little tab there underneath. So to get it to, go, to, get it to uh, be free, it's a bit difficult, but nothing major. Take your time. And as you can see, when we get it in just the right position, the clip will release. And there we go. Uh, just the one on the other side got a bit hung up, but got it eventually there we go okay really simple uh, there's four screws one on each corner we need to remove the four screws If you're looking for a replacement screen, you could do a search for the actual model of the laptop itself or uh, when we remove the screen, you'll see that there's a white sticker on the back of the screen with a serial number. You could search that serial number and you'll definitely find the screen. So we're just going to flip the screen uh, towards us. Bear in mind the ribbon cable on the bottom of the screen is still attached. We want to pay special attention not to break or damage this because if we did, while the cable can be released, we would have to um, break down the laptop just to uh, get in there to get the other side of that cable. So there's a sticker on top. I'm just going to peel the sticker back and unplug the connection. And there we go. So the next day the screen arrived. I'm just going to use a bit of the package in here just to make sure the screen doesn't get scratched or dinged at all. And we'll lay it into position and we'll reconnect the connector. The connector itself is, is pretty delicate, so just make sure it goes in straight and um, you'll have no issues. So you can remember there was tape on it the first time. Uh, that tape really isn't reusable, so we're going to just use a bit of just ordinary tape, any tape at all. It's there really just to take the stress off the actual connector itself. And we fold the screen back up into position. And of course we'll test the screen before we go any further just to make sure everything's operating as it should do. So basically the reverse of what we did before, we're going to replace the four screws, one on each corner. And this is, this is really, a, it's a beginner's repair, so anyone can do this. I don't think there's anything too difficult. Just take your time with the bezel and the actual cable, the ribbon cable for the back of the screen and everything should be okay. So we're gonna install the bezel. Uh, we're going to start from the bottom and work towards the top. We want to get that nice clip sound all the way around. 
Once the hinges are in position, the bezel will line up so it'll make this job a lot easier. And we just want to check the gaps at the back as well just to make sure everything's in position. And of course restart the machine again just to make sure everything is as it should be. As always guys, if you liked the video, uh, leave a thumbs up or subscribe for more videos like this.